everyone and welcome back to Miss Estric Biology. In this video I'm going to be talking you through blood vessels. We're going to be looking at the structure and function and I'm very excited as well to be able to show you different blood vessels under the microscope so we can actually see the kind of application question that will come up and if you do want to get your hands on a microscope just like this I'll be showing you later on how to use it but there's also a link in the description but first let's review the information that you need to know describing and explain the structure and function of blood vessels and then I'm going to be going under the microscope showing you those structures. So we're going to go through these five key types of blood vessels, the arteries, arterioles, capillaries, venules and veins, starting with the arteries and the veins. So looking at the structure and the function of the arteries, the arteries have got this thick elastic layer and that is so that they can stretch and recoil in response to the heartbeat because when the heart beats and pumps blood out of the arteries they have to be able to stretch but then they'll recoil when the blood is flowing through to help maintain that blood pressure. There's also a collagen outer layer to provide structural support. There is a thick, smooth, muscular layer as well. And that is so that there can be constriction and dilation of that artery. And that can occur to control the volume of the blood and help to smooth the flow of the blood as well. So overall, because of these thick layers, there is a thick wall and that in total helps to maintain the blood pressure and it also results in this smaller lumen and then lining the lumen we have the endothelium and there's two key properties to this endothelium number one it's really really smooth to reduce any friction as the blood is flowing through and the second thing which we actually can't see in this image but when we get under the microscope you will be able to see this the endothelium is folded and that's so that when the artery stretches, the endothelium folds will smooth out to enable it to expand without tearing. And then when the artery constricts again and recoils, endothelium folds up again. Next then, let's have a look at the veins. Now these have all of the same tissues as the artery, just thinner. So you've got a relatively thin elastic layer and that's because the pressure is much lower so there doesn't have to be as much stretch and recoil. It contains valves which arteries do not have. And that's what this is showing us here in the lumen. We've got a valve made up of these two flaps and that helps to prevent the backflow of blood. It contains lots of collagen again for the structural support. It's got thin walls as the pressure is lower so there's a lower risk of the vessels bursting and the other thing is the thin walls means that the vessels are easily flattened which helps the flow of blood back up to the heart because as muscles such as skeletal muscles contract it squashes the veins and that is what pushes the blood back up and we'll be able to see just how thin these walls are when we have a look under the microscope. Now the muscular layer is relatively thin as well which means it can't control the blood flow. So the final three then we've got the arterioles which we can see connect the arteries to the capillaries. We'll look at the capillaries and then the venules which connect the capillaries to the vein. The arterioles have a thicker muscular wall and that is so that they can constrict to really restrict the blood flow before it goes into the capillaries to prevent any damage to the capillaries and so that the blood flows through it slower. The elastic layer is thinner than in the arteries and that's because the pressure is lower so it doesn't need to stretch and recoil as much. Also a thinner collagen layer because it doesn't need quite as much because the pressure will be lower. And the same idea here with the overall thickness of the walls it is going to be thinner because the pressure will be lower in an arteriole than an artery. And there are no valves. The capillaries, now they don't have any smooth muscle, they don't have any elastic, they don't have any collagen, no valves. And that's because as we can see here, they're just made up of one single layer of cells, which is known as the endothelium. And this endothelium is only one cell thick, and that is so that it provides a really short diffusion distance. The venules have a thin layer of smooth muscle, but they actually don't have an elastic layer or any collagen. They're very, very thin walled, and several venules will connect to join to form one of those veins. The venules do also have valves in though, because that pressure is lower, it'll help to prevent the backflow of blood. So now let's take a look under the microscope. <laughs> Okay, so this first one that I am setting up is an aorta 
transverse section. So we're looking at a slice through the aorta and I'm just gonna place it on the stage here, which with this microscope is really cool, which is these magnetic clips that you can use as the clips that hold it on place on the stage. You can also actually change the brightness that you want and even the color. So that's pretty cool. If you want to change the color to see if that actually helps with the visualization of any of the structures, that's a good little feature. Um, for now, I'm just gonna stick to white and because I'm trying to show you on the camera, I'm gonna turn the brightness down because I think that might actually help with you being able to see it as well. The image is really, really clear on this screen. And what I love is normally when I'm doing this with students and lessons, you have to try and describe what you're looking at. But because we're doing this on camera and we've got the screen, you can literally point and say, well, look, this bit here is the folded endothelium and you can see that because you've got these wavy little lines and it's the inner layer and then these are all of those muscle fibers within the wall that would be your muscle and elastic fibers layer and you can see just how thick that layer of the aorta is now that's going to be easier to demonstrate if i get a different slide where you have the comparison of an artery and a vein so i'm going to do that and you can have a look at how i'm getting it all set up This time it's so much clearer to see the difference between those structures because we've got our vein over on this side and this is now looking at an artery and just by having them side by side you can see that the vein has a much much thinner wall compared to the walls of the artery. You can even see here stained in the different colours the different layers are really visible in the artery. You do have those same layers in a vein but because it's so thin you can't clearly see it. But the other thing that is noticeable is the fact that the lumen of the vein is much larger than the lumen of the artery. And the lumen of the artery is typically spherical, whereas the lumen of the vein can be different shapes because it's thinner wall, so it's easier to squash. So it can be squashed against the skeleton, the muscles to help push the blood up against gravity. Now we can't see any valves in this particular slide. What you can see is just on this endothelium, there's like a wiggly black line and that is showing you the folded endothelium. So when that artery does stretch under the high pressure, the folded endothelium unfolds so then it doesn't tear. And then when it recoils, the folds reform. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the final slide that I've got. And this one is artery and vein thin section. So it'll be similar to one we've just had a look at, but we'll see if we can spot anything slightly different. Okay, so I've just been playing around with the colors a little bit to see if changing those colors does make um, this slide any more visible. I think actually the previous slide was just a better quality slide. But if I zoom in just so you can see what I have been looking at, and we've got another, as I said, it's a thin section through an artery and a vein. I just think the slide before showed this a bit more clearly. So we've got here our vein at the bottom, you can see the thin wall. What this does show really well though is the really thick walls of the artery. So that's it. Hopefully you feel like an expert now on the different blood vessels and also on how you can actually identify the different structures under the microscope with thanks to this very nifty little microscope where you saw it all on the screen. And as I said, if you want to get your hands on one of these to help with your learning or your teaching, then the link's in the description below so you can get one.